I've asked Attorney General Holder to work with Chairman Leibowitz of the Federal Trade Commission, Chairman Gensler of the Commodity Futures Trading Commission, and other enforcement agencies to make sure that acts of manipulation, fraud, or other illegal activity are not behind increases in the price that consumers pay at the pump. So today we're announcing new steps to strengthen oversight of energy markets. Things that we can do administratively, we are doing. And I call on Congress to pass a package of measures to crack down on illegal activity and hold accountable those who manipulate the market for private gain at the expense of millions of working families. And be specific. First, Congress should provide immediate funding to put more cops on the beat to monitor activity in energy markets. This funding would also upgrade technology so that our surveillance and enforcement officers aren't hamstrung by older and less sophisticated tools than the ones that traders are using. We should strengthen protections for American consumers, not gut them. And these markets have expanded significantly. Uh, Chairman Gensler actually uh, had a good analogy. He said, imagine if uh, the NFL uh, quadrupled the number of teams but didn't increase the number of refs. You'd end up having havoc on the field, and it would diminish the game. It wouldn't be fair. That's part of what's going on uh, in a lot of these markets. So we have to properly resource enforcement. Second, Congress should increase the civil and criminal penalties for illegal energy market manipulation and other illegal activities. So my plan would toughen key financial penalties tenfold and impose these penalties not just per violation, but for every day a violation occurs. Third, Congress should give the agency responsible for overseeing oil markets new authority to protect against volatility and excess speculation by making sure the traders can post appropriate margins, which simply means that they actually have the money to make good on their trades. Congress should do all of this right away. You know, a few weeks ago, Congress had a chance to stand up for families already paying an extra premium at the pump. Uh, congressional Republicans voted to keep spending billions of Americans' hard-earned tax dollars on more unnecessary subsidies for big oil companies. So here's a chance to make amends, a chance to actually do something that will protect consumers by increasing oversight of energy markets. That should be something that everybody, no matter their party, should agree with. And I hope Americans will ask their members of Congress to step up. In the meantime, my administration will take new executive actions to better analyze and investigate trading activities in energy markets and more quickly implement the tough consumer protections under Wall Street reform.